What the? What the heck? Get rid of the net. Marcus Square. Yeah, gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go with what the gold. We, what did we just see in this one? What happened to you, Nick? What is that you got? Ran over yet? Ran over yet? Over yet. It out. No, what did we oh, just over, Chuck? That was. Um, uh, Chuck looking for those chickens he counted before they hatched. Miss Black, I was wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, guaranteed. Yeah, I didn't say it right, Gregory. The dang old guarantees. Oh, man. Derek Rush, you are correct. My Sixers, man, I feel painful. I feel bad now. Well, all of that was happening after New York had jumped out to a 33 to 11 lead in this game, only to trail at the half. Big picture, Kenny. How did the Knicks pull this out? Knicks pulled it out on, on I think it was defensive execution. Because they made and earlier when the Sixers got back into the game, they made a mistake, I thought. And Charles as well. Charles pointed out, I kind of pointed out video, doubling Joel and B. When you doubled him, you got Buddy Hill going. And then all of a sudden they make they make up a 15 point deficit. Then they played more single coverage. And they came late. Then, then that doesn't allow shooters to get their feet set. So defensively, and then down the stretch. It was a plethora of guys. There was Brunson, DiVincenzo, there's Hart, there's OG, there's, there's uh, Hartenstein, there's Mark Mitchell Robinson. They all made a play to win the game. Sometimes everyone makes a play, but you don't make the play. Tonight, the Knicks made the play. Yeah, DiVincenzo, by the way, you, you bring his name up, too. Remember, he hit the game winner, that wild game, yeah. too, and then goes three for 17 over the next three games, goes five for nine from deep mm -hmm. uh, tonight, and they needed every one of those. Yeah, I thought the Sixers made a mistake in the third quarter when they went to Joel every time, and I thought the offense got stagnant. He was scoring, but nobody else was getting involved. You see, I, I'm not sure what Buddy Hill, Batoon, what those guys had in the second half, because uh, Joel was scoring. Like, sometimes a team like, yeah, let the one guy go in, because that's what happened in the first half. The other guys got going. They never got going in the second half. I thought the Sixers just got stagnant offensively, and then uh, Bronson took over. You know, Knicks just did a really great job of not panicking and closing out the game. You know, it got kind of scary there at the end, but they closed this <laughs> game say. out. They closed it out this time. Yeah, they uh, remember they had that six-point lead with 29 seconds left in the last game, and tonight they were up by eight in the closing minutes. Yeah. Hung and, on. And, and Josh Hart happened. Yeah, and they're in the uh, Eastern Conference semifinals. Here's a look at how it all played out tonight in Philadelphia. So Joel ready to go and Tyrese Maxey coming off that 46 point game and Brunson coming off 40 in game five. And as we pointed out, New York came out and punched him in the mouth. They kicked him in the groin. They broke a chair on their back. They did everything in the first quarter. Mm. They led 33 to 11. It was tough, man, Ernie. Yeah. Get, <laughs> yeah. And give Coach Nurse some credit. He went. Joel we'll got. Jo Joel left the game, and the Sixers got. Got. They, that's when they started running and gunning. And then Joel came back and did his thing, and they started doubling. But when they went small in the, in the first half, that was the difference in the game. And then, but, and then look who shows up. It's Buddy Heald, who had two points in 29 minutes in the three games well, that's he double played. Dribble. He I had know, double 20 dribble. in this one. Yeah, that's feet work. Yeah, had the footwork, but the dribble work was wrong. Philadelphia. Get hot, buddy. Thing, buddy. 22. Get and hot, coming buddy. back to take the lead before halftime. 54-51 the score at the break. Embiid right away for three. Seven-point game. Turnover. Tyrese Maxey. Wow. Cash. Ten-point lead for the Sixers. Mm. But the Knicks battle back. Now it's a three-point game. Offensive rebounds. Already. Offensive rebounds yes, killed my Sixers. All night long. All series long for the New York Knicks. Two-point game and oh. Maxi somehow. Tough basket. Tell you what, I would love to be OG's agent. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> now the game is tied at 95, and now New York's up three, and there's Dante, and there's Jalen Brunson, and there is another three ball and a six-point lead. Oh, oh. Wait a OG! If oh. you have an open three, Ernie, or an open layup, you always take the layup. That ain't no layup. That's a dunk. Ooh. Tobias Harris, no, but Kelly Oubre there with the follow. One-point game. Maxi 
finding some space. This was the closest yeah. I've ever seen the goaltending, I think. Yep. Oh, yeah, call it a was. goaltend and a foul. Mm. Yep. Game tied at 111. Oh, Josh you, Hart. Great ball fake right there. Great concentration. You, you know what? You shot. give Maxi credit on that play because he wanted Hart to shoot that thing. Oh, he got three seconds. All right, they were going to file him, Shaq. He just had to heave that one. 118, 115. A uh, six-game series with as much drama as you can possibly want. Uh, and this series provided it, man, in both uh, New York. Tobias and Harris didn't score. Philadelphia. Ooh. Oh, don't it? Oh, yeah, Tobias Harris, uh, 0 for 2 from the floor. Dang. Embiid 39, Maxi had 17, and of course, Jalen Brunson, third time in the series, has gone for over 40. 41 and 12 as the Knicks win at 118, 115. Heath, who we got? Nick Nurse? Let's hear from him. Yeah, I mean, I think. Uh... Listen, give both teams a lot of credit for the way they fought and played. Uh, I give give them some credit for hitting a, a huge three and three of the wins, right? Um, you know, at the end, um, you know, I just the series probably could have could have went the exact opposite the way it did, but it didn't. So congratulate them for for um, ending up on the positive side of it. What do you say to your players after losing a game like that, a series? That Just said I was proud of them because I thought they fought. I mean, that's all I've ever said is that when we when we get out there, we're going to fight, and we're going to no matter what the score is and how many guys are out or injured or whatever's going on, we got We got to go out there and fight. Um, and they certainly did that in this series, and and for the majority of the season. Nick, now that the series is over, I guess, how difficult was it for Joel just to be able to play with everything that's going on? Well, I think you guys, you know, you probably have to ask him about that, but it's certainly he was he was do going through a lot of stuff. Right? I thought he was absolutely tremendous tonight, but he, you know, he had a lot he had a lot of stuff going on. Um, and, and I thought he fought through, you know, a lot of adversity. What do you think the difference is? Four single-digit wins for the Knicks in this series. Two by three, one by five, one by seven. This was uh, spectacular. This was it was it was everything you want a playoff series to be. You got two great sports cities. New York is an amazing sports city. Philadelphia is a great sports city. The players laid it out there. You had Joel out there playing hurt. Uh, we are witnessing something. You know, when I said it, y'all told me I was crazy. Brunson, one of the best free agent signings of all time. And you guys, I said, he's not LeBron, he's not Kobe, uh, Kevin Durant. Those are all-timers. But for signing a guy that nobody, this guy, he shocked there. I guarantee you the Knicks didn't think he was going to be this good when they gave him that contract. He's been amazing, man. He's been good as Bernard King. He's got my vote. Yeah. Shout out to the great Bernard King. You know, Ernie. Yeah, this is, uh, and I misspoke. This is four. He had three going in, four 40 point games. Damn, in a row. Uh, joining Bernard King. So, um, just put into words what you're seeing from this guy. Uh, <laughs> you know, Kenny says it's the best playoff time where you really make a name for yourself. You know, he started out in Dallas as a backup, and listen, he's playing fabulous ball. Congratulations to him. Congratulations to his father. Congratulations to the Knicks. I agree with Chuck. It was a hell of a series, two great cities. And now this next series, I think it's going to be even more exciting. You got a young Indiana team that likes to run, and you got a feisty New York team that no matter what happens, they will never quit. So I'm looking forward to this next series also. So I was right the first time. Third 40 point game of this series. Well, you know, you're always right, so why are you well, don't first second guess yourself? When I looked at that, I was Don't like, second guess yourself, Ernie. I guess so I was Ernie. wrong on that, but well, you're Ernie. But, but no. Well, Ernie, in I fairness, right. in fairness, <laughs> you, you were just wrong. Um, no, Ernie, it's it's beautiful to watch because he seems like such a nice kid. I don't know him that well. Brunson? Brun yeah. I, I know his dad pretty a uh, pretty a little bit, but man, you want to see a player cuz you know, if you sign a free agent and they don't play well, you know you're going to get roasted. Shout out to the Knicks organization, our boy Wes, and those guys, man. I'm just – I'm happy for them because there's nothing – and I don't like saying it. Man, playing when the, when the garden's on fire, it's special. Yeah. Uh, just one more note before we, before we bounce. Make sure you get this one right. No, this is <laughs> – <laughs>
<laughs> just to the rebounding numbers we were talking about. Plus 32 on the boards, plus 23 on the offensive glass, and second chance points in the series 115 to 73 oh. for the uh, New York Knicks as they wow. knock out the Philadelphia 76ers in six. Hate to see that series end, man. I would have taken a best of nine out of that thing. Uh, <laughs> oh, you funny, Cito. You're a funny yeah. guy, Cito. That is Charles, Cito. <laughs> Here it is again. I like, thought he was never going to come down. Yeah, Watch like, him. Like he went to, damn. Like he went to Auburn. <laughs> you actually kicked your feet up and behind to hit your butt. Your heels hit your butt. I was happy for my daughter. Come on, man. Yeah, right. Look at this fool. Shout yeah. out to little Henry. I don't think his heels even came yeah. close to Shout out to Henry and Charlie. Hands up, you two knees. kids. Do that Hands now. Hands on your knees. Look at me.